uh, the concept of circular economy. Uh, I, 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 a lot of you might already know what it is. That's probably why you're here. But if you don't, circular economy doesn't only mean recycling material. Um, it's, an, it's circular economy within the design industry. It's an approach to design that considers the entire life cycle of the material. Um, in, from small to large scale projects. So basically what we're aiming at is to create um, like uh, an environmental impact that will end up in reducing CO2 emissions. Um, and even same, saving you some money in some cases as well. Um, okay, so as you will see through this presentation, interior design and architects have a crucial role to play in the circular economy. And I am feeling really lucky and privileged to uh, have the opportunity to introduce Adam Cornell to you. He is the CEO and founder of Unbuilders and Heritage Lumber. Adam is a passive house builder turned on builder and an entrepreneur with an extensive background in deconstruction and reclaimed wood. He flipped his first house at 16 with his father. And after years in the building industry, launched on builders the construction in January of 2018. He's a he is driven to make a positive impact in systematic industry change. Adam is passionate about his family, skiing, hiking, mountains, and spending time outdoors. He is committed to providing a sustainable future for generations to enjoy. So Adam, it's uh, the floor is yours. <laughs> Okay, so th thanks for that, Fernanda. And Fernanda and I have actually done several projects together where she did the design work. And in my former career, I was a builder contractor. So we've, um, we've actually done a lot of the, the work um, that we're, we're gonna now talk about, um, which is incorporating used building materials into design and, and the circular economy. Uh, so I won't uh, do any more introduction to myself, but uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Unbuilders and Heritage Lumber. Um, which are two parts of this uh, circularity that we'll talk about today. Habitat for Humanity being the other um, pillar within um, th this network of, of materials and, and keeping them in, the, in circulation and keeping them in the supply chain. So first I'm gonna just break down what the current industry, what, what the issues are with construction, design uh, and, and material sourcing and then show our, show our solution to the problem and then, and then also look at how design can, can take a big um, piece of this and, and really start building towards the future. Um, so when we're looking at the Canadian construction industry in general, construction and demolition, uh, we currently operate in a linear economy, uh, which is extremely wasteful. So um, in construction in Canada, we generate about 4 million tons of waste annually. When that when that material goes to landfill and decomposes into methane and is released into the atmosphere, it translates into about 20 million tons of CO2 being released into the atmosphere. So it's a massive contributor to climate change. And uh, just looking at the solid waste stream in Canada, it's, it's nearly 40% of all the solid waste going to landfill is from construction. When you break that waste down, what, what is it? 37% um, of it is just straight lumber. So about 1.5 million tons. 100% of that material can be either recycled or salvaged. Um, so there's no reason that it should be going to the landfill. And breaking that lumber down even further, a high portion of it's actually old growth lumber, which is extremely valuable and really should not be in the landfill. That needs to be back in circulation. And I'll go into detail about exactly what that looks like. 